Welcome to Unpredictable Me, yeah, Unpredictable Me. It's Unpredictable Me, yeah, Unpredictable, Unpredictable, Unpredictable Me, yeah! Hi y'all, this is your girl Amber, and welcome to Unpredictable Me. Today I'm having an exotic melon mukbang. I forgot the names of the melons because this is leftovers from the taste test that me, Keishan Jr. did on the roommates. And not only that, I'm also having the Sprite, so I'm gonna dip the melons in the Sprite to see how that tastes. Because I know y'all have never seen somebody dip fruit into pop, so this is gonna be something new y'all can see. So let's get into this countdown. Three, two, one, go. Now that's sweet. I move this fruit around and we're gonna put this cup in the middle. Cause I know you guys are wondering what is crazy Amber gonna do with this? It's gonna, it's looking like like a fruit delicacy over here. I call it fruit pop. And it literally could be like a, a commercial. Check this out, you guys. We got. I'm trying. We got the melon going into the pot. We gonna see how that tastes. Look at the carbonation when you dip it in there. It's like a little science project. Oh, I just dropped it. That's good. That's good together. Wonder what it's gonna taste like after all dipping all of that in there. And then finally drinking it, because it'll have the melon juice in there. So my unpredictables, how was your day today? I had an interesting day. Today I today I went to Jewel. And I go there to get hamburger buns and potato wedges. And so the guy at the deli that was serving me, he was flirting with me. Because normally when I go to the store, I don't go to the store with my hair down. I always go to the store with my hair either in a bun or a ponytail. So guys don't really be looking at me when I go out. But this time, I up and randomly decided to go to the store with my hair flat iron and straight and down. Because I figured when I got home, I'd be doing a video. So the guy at the deli, I told him what I wanted, I'm like, I'm like, I want two pounds of potato wedges. And he's like, just potato wedges. I'm like, I'm like, oh, it's not for me, it's for my friend, she vegan. I'm like, if I was ordering something for myself, I'd be ordering a variety amount of chicken wings, because you know your girl Amber loves her chicken wings. So he was taking a sweet time packaging the, the potato wedges. 
Just give me googly eyes. And so I was not there alone. I was there with Red and Red's girlfriend. It was funny when um when he saw me get the bag from for the with the potato wedges and leave and then go to the next aisle we went in the ice cream aisle and so he follows me to the and so the weirdest thing that happened was I look at the bag and right when I said right when I said to Red I'm like this man forgot to put the seal on the bag, meaning when they give you a bag of potato wedges at the deli, they're supposed to put the seal on it. He didn't put the seal on it, he just folded it. I'm like, I think he purposely didn't put the seal on it, so so he never, so I'd have a reason to come back. That's so he could look at me. Right after I said that, that man just popped up in that aisle. Like he was just, like he, like he was following me. So he comes up in the aisle. And he just creeps right past me, all quiet. And he's like, he's like, baby, don't let the don't let them potatoes go cold. I'm like, well, no, I'm not gonna let them go cold. <laughs> And he's like, which one of your friends were these potato wedges for? And I'm like, oh, no, my friend, she's not here. I'm like, she just sent me the store to get her potato wedges. I'm like, my friend's with me. They came here for ice cream, bread. I'm like, that's why we're in this aisle. <laughs> he's like, and then he looks at me. He's like, well, excuse me for being nosy. <laughs> I thought it was so cute. Because usually when I go out, guys don't even be talking to me. But this dude was only talking to me. Because I was wearing a spaghetti string tank top with my hair down. And I was wearing shorts. And I normally don't wear shorts when I go out. I always wear shorts in the house. But it was real hot outside, so I figured I'd put on some shorts. The pop just complements the fruit. Like if the fruit is better, you dip it in the pop, it's like wow. You know, I used to do the same thing. I used to do the same exact thing with uh, fruit roll-ups. I would take them, I'll take them fruit by the foot, and it'd be like, uh, it'd be like one of them 12-inch fruit roll-ups. I put the whole fruit roll, just arm roll the fruit roll, dipping in in the spray, and I would just be sitting there, like putting it all in my mouth and just like, and just be licking the the pop off the fruit roll. Should I used to do that with pop? No, I mean I used to do that with fruit rolls. With popsicles. Shit, when I was in um when I was in high school, that was the first time. First school I went to where they had a real nice lunch program. And they had like a bunch of coolers with all types of pop, like it was just variety pop. I felt like I was in heaven. Like I and they had like you could buy candy and uh, ice cream once you got to the counter, and then you could buy all that even from the vending machines. 
So what I would do is I would take a bottle of pop and I would buy them sour Skittles and just put them in the pop and shake it up just to see if the flavor would change or if it would be any better. I would do that with spray. And so I'd be walking around with the bottle. It'd be like a Sprite bottle with, and it'd be a Sprite bottle. And the Sprite had changed colors. It would change to like, I thought it was gonna be like rainbow colors because it was like rainbow Skittles. Instead, it turned like a brownish, it was like a brownish color. And I was like, oh, that didn't, it didn't look the way I thought it would. I used to do a lot of weird science experiments with like, well, like food or pop. Although I don't think I would ever put M&Ms. I don't know if I would ever put M&Ms inside of a pop bottle, like with a Coke or anything. But I can't see, I can't see a pop with chocolate tasting good. Unless it's like a chocolate bar and the pop. I don't know if you could really combine the two. I would think it hurt your stomach. I'm like a sugar fanatic. Like I literally, I like sugar more than I like sodium. I'm just slurping this fruit. If you wanted to, you could do like a fruit mukbang. I mean, not mukbang, but uh, a fruit ASMR. But instead of cutting it like little pieces, you would just like cut it off the peel, and it would be like a long piece of fruit, and then dip it in the pot, and then you could just sit there and suck on the fruit. And just suck the pop off of it. That, that'd be a good ASMR. Today, you guys, the weather was just like depressing. It was just raining. It was hot. It was hot, but it was just raining all day. Like, I hate when it rains. The only thing good about it raining is when it rains or snows, that's the perfect time to do a lot because everybody's in the house. So no one wants to be out in the rain because it looks depressing outside. So it makes you want to stay in your house. I think tonight I might do a live. I know I say that all the time, but I think tonight I really might do it. And a lot of you guys will say in the comments like, Amber, you should vlog. But personally, I feel weird vlogging and I'll tell you why. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like one of those people because I already do like, uh, I do YouTube, so I kind of don't like the attention on me when I'm in public. <clears throat> So at the same time, like, if I vlog, I'm comfortable, like, vlogging with, like, Keisha or Junior if they're with me, but I don't like doing it by myself. I feel like people would be thinking, like, I'm trying to videotape them. Because some people, they don't like being on camera. 
the building. And a lot of times if you go somewhere where it's real crowded, it's hard not to have people on camera. just bubbles up while I just dip the fruit in there. Look at that. That's like a science experiment. What? <laughs> I mean natural sugar. I feel like I'm drinking candy in a cup. Pop just got extra good. This would make like a good commercial for literally a uh, a tropical pop commercial. Like if they just made it, it'd be funny if they just came out with a sprite and called it um sprite with with melon or a uh, tropical melon sprite. came out with a new sprite it'd be funny if it would be like exotic explosion because it'd be like exotic fruit explosion taste I would love to work for like a pop company like the type of pop company like them corporal companies where they come up with these new flavors or like coming up with new flavor candies I wonder how they come up with them. I think, honestly, I think they're geniuses. Like how they came out with the hazelnut M&M's. Look at that. Look at how it just drips off of the fruit. It's raining outside. And it's raining in the mukbang today. It's raining pop drops. Look at that. Pop drop rain. Now we can shish kebab this on the fork. is good. <clears throat> Y'all want to try some of my pop fruit or fruit pop? Check this out. Look at that. Hey, my unpredictables. Get a load of this. Y'all get to have some. Fruit pop. The pop with the fruits. Curious to see how this tastes after dipping the fruit in there. It's 
Sorry about the sirens, you guys. In the city of Chicago, in the summer times, we'll hear sirens. Sadly. So you guys, I can't wait this summer because me and Keisha and Junior will be going to the zoo and I haven't been to the zoo in so long. So I can't wait to learn new things about the animals. And, that, and also the other thing I love about going to the zoo, after going to the zoo, I always get, I always come out with a real nice tan use it as my time to exercise because I'm walking because I'm doing my walking and learning and getting the summer tan because you know by looking at me you guys you know I need a tan I'm southern Italian and southern Italian are supposed to be dark and I'm light as a ghost so I definitely need me a brown tan I go to the zoo, I want to get me some souvenirs and a shirt so I can wear I can wear me a shirt on the channel when I get back from the zoo. I can tell you all everything that happened at the zoo. Although you might see it anyways because we'll probably be vlogging it. Vlogging the trip. I also want to visit the petting zoo. You know, when I was a kid, I did not really, I couldn't really appreciate going to the zoo when I was a kid because when I was a kid, I felt like it was real boring going to the zoo. And the only thing I wanted to do when I went there was, um, Go to every little concession stand. Go to the souvenir shop. And I didn't want to read read the little boards or the little signs that they put on top of where the animals are, where you're supposed to learn. I always got I always had no patience to read it. I would just be looking at the I'd just be looking at the animals to see if they're doing anything weird. I'd be looking to see if they're fighting. Or they were getting freaky with each other. <laughs> Cause you know by fifth grade they, they pretty much teach you about animals and mating and all that. About the animals and their mating season. I heard this thing where with gorillas that if you smile at them it makes them angry. <laughs> I think it'd be funny to see somebody smile or stare at them to see if they get angry. <laughs> or to see a gorilla flip out. Everyone would be scared of them don't leave laughing. You know, I one time saw in the Homer Simpsons, um, it was, uh, it was a Homer Simpson, ep or not Homer Simpson, I'm sorry, The Simpsons. Homer Simpson, I think he got stuck in one of the animal cage, or he got stuck with one of the gorillas. And one of the gorillas, I don't know if it was a gorilla or a bear, but one of them had him bent over one of them tree stumps and would just hop at him from the back. <laughs> I was just laughing my ass off watching that. 
I was like, damn, Homer's getting raped by the animals. I also saw something like that in uh, The Nutty Professor Part 2. Where, uh, where the professor, his boss, his boss was always a jerk to him. And karma came back to bite him in the ass. Because what happened was, he ends up putting on... He had a real big, the hamster got real big. It was like, it was like probably like an eight foot hamster. It was huge. And it was in the science lab. And everybody was running away. And the professor's boss, I don't know for what the hell reason, but he's hiding underneath a fur coat thinking that that was going to be significant for some reason. And instead what happens is, The hamster tries to have sex with him while he got the fur coat. I'm thinking he was a thinking he was a lady hamster. I would bust not laughing. Oh, it looks like the carbonation is almost going away. Wait, no, it's not. See, that's a science right here. It's called food. <clears throat> food science. You know, when I was in, in school, I never got to dissect a frog or or any type of animal. I don't know. I think I would have been able to do it. Some people got squeamish. Well, I mean, some people would get squeamish to do them, but I think I would have been that type of person where I could do it. As long as the animal was not alive, then I have no problem doing it. It's always interesting to know what, what the inside of the body looks like. I really would like to go to the museum and the aquarium because when I was a kid I get distracted easily at the time I don't really have the maturity to really pay attention to what was going on because anytime I'd be looking at an art exhibit I'd be looking at the art exhibit and I have to worry about getting lost because the group that I was walking with like the tour guide they end up leaving without me, so I have to run and catch them. And I don't want to be kid. I don't want to be that kid that was left at left at the field trip and didn't get on the bus. I've seen that happen in the movies. I just want to experience it. Now let's see. We already dipped the fruit in the pop. Let's see what the pop tastes like. It probably tastes like melon juice. It 
That's good. It tastes like, like kind of like cantaloupe and honeydew. Well, my unpredictables. As you can see, I'm done. I'm full. So I'm gonna close out. So I had a lot of fun eating and talking with you guys and showing you guys something you've never seen before. The fruit being dipped in the pot because I know no one's ever tried that. So thank you all for watching. And the, what I like to say is make, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade. Because whatever, whatever sour situation you get yourself in, always know there's always a bright side of a situation so always try to see the happy things about life don't always be negative because if you live your life being negative only negative things will happen to you so <clears throat> love you guys be sure i can't say live love and laugh because that'd be taking it from the roommates and i don't want it to be like the roommates so peace Peace, love, and happiness. Bye, y'all. Love you.